message brought to you by Dodge McLaughlin, High River Autoplex, and RV. Tagging the three barrels, Seidler, KPI, and Evan Smith Anderson, Morgan Forrest is the board. Performance driven, building a strong and vibrant Calgary. And two, the Brinkman Foundation, John Walters is the driver. Not for profit organization whose goal is to help kids in need in the Alberta region. If you would like to help or know of a children's charity in need, please contact info at BrinkmanFoundation.com. And if one, the NR Eccles Transport, Doug Irvine, in the top ten right now, the NR Eccles Transport, Truckload, Banner Deck, Nationwide. Let's. Thank you, Jack Mack, for that four barrel. Mike Deep in the aggregate, young Cold Cause Ray carrying on four generations of that family tradition. His father, the late Richard Cosgrave, after whom we named our aggregate award in the new GMC truck to the Ag Champ. On the three barrel, Logan Gorse, the G Man, with Eamon Smith and Anderson at his fourth GMC Range Lander. Barrel, 19th in our show aggregate, a former Saskatoon champion, and John Walters at his third GMC Range Lander. And on the one barrel, B and R Eccles Transportation, committed to service. Oh, Doug. And Doug Irvine has been at this GMC Rangeland Derby for now 11 years. And he grew up in the town of Bonneville. Actually, a little town called La Corrie, just north of Bonneville. I call him the story from La Corrie. Uh, Irvine and his wife, Jimmy Lou, the three amazing little kids. Dacia, Britt, Maddie, Joe. And Doug Irvine, a top outrider, has won many an outriding award here at the GMC Rangeland Derby. So we'll get his equipment probably straightened out. One pony that's having a bit of an attitude. You see, these thoroughbred horses are born and bred to run. They love what they do, and horses are just like people. You know when you go to work in the morning and there might be one person in that crowd that is kind of a, you know, it just doesn't make your day. Well, horses have to be able to work together just like people do. And every once in a while, the two of them will get to argue. You see, as Logan Gorse leaves with that set of bay horses, that bay color is probably the most common color in the thoroughbred horse industry. The two on the front end are called lead horses. They're the power of steering to the driver. He's got a line in each hand, right and left, one to each of those lead horses. The other lines in his hand, right and left together, the two lines to the wheel horses. So it's a matter of steering all four horses to get around those figure eight pattern in the barrel position. And once a team is well seasoned and broke, a lot of them wagon men will tell you, they don't hardly have to pull a line. Those horses will just simply do it on their own. And to find a lead team, that will work together and crank a right turn to the left turn simultaneously. It takes a little time, a little practice, a little training. But horses are creatures of habit. They love what they do. And whether it's a thoroughbred horse or a quarter horse or an Andalusian or a Frisian or whatever horse, they're creatures of habit. It's time again to celebrate our stampede champions. What kind of champion are you? They're holding him too long. He is only 56, or he's only 16 one hundredths of a second out of the top eight. That's what you call sportsmanship. Cole Cosgrave, racing for High River, comes in. Logan Gorst, Eamon Smith and Anderson, John Walters, the Brakeman Foundation, and Doug Irvine. BNR Eccles is his campus sponsor. Eight number three. Let's do it. All right, so there's ours, right? There's the charge is He's got that sharp looking wagon that's not even his own, but he's charging inside of John Walters and the Brinkman Foundation. He's headed for the wire. Doug Irvine, he and R. Reckles transport opens him up to overdrive. Logan Gorse coming in from the inside. John Walters from the backside, but it's Doug Irvine. gets right in there. John Walters and the Brinkman and Colt Cosgrave racing for High River. Disappointing run for him here in heat number three tonight. You see.